I want to also invite Lady B because Lady B, you've been on this walk now for a minute. Yeah, it's been several years since you got saved, and I'm sure for you just listening to everything that was being said here, even at some point Mr. T was talking about uh, the gospel ministry and I was just seeing you saying, amen, <laughs> praise the Lord. So I want to find out from you now in the context of what we are discussing, if you look at the state of the gospel scene, and please note I'm not saying industry, I'm just saying the gospel scene, and coming from a point of, if, if coming from a point of all the role models, all, all the people who are held up as the icons within that particular scene, do you feel like something should change? Well, first of all, thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am so blessed to be here this day. And uh, everything has been said. But I want to first of all say this. I, me, I came from the other world. And I've been there. And since 2012, I gave my life to Jesus in Anzaga. Because the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him. So it starts by believing in Jesus Christ, that he should not perish, but have everlasting life. So I believed in Jesus Christ. I gave my life to him. Then I followed him, not following music. I had to stay for one and a half years, about even two years, I think. Then I, music comes. So music is just a platform that Jesus has given me to go and preach the gospel. If you talk about my music, or music that I, in a in a in a samba, uku kama vile kimdani na sema na wengine ambao wanaita gospel, uh, in itwa ministry, wanaita uh, industry. 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 Yes. Mimi ni kisema mimi, uh, ukianza kusema about nani ya chizagi mziki zangu. Mimi mziki zangu siyo, sina mziki mimi. Mimi na neno labwana. That's why I'm not concentrating on who plays me or who does this. I know the Bible tells me very clearly that if one soul repents, Heaven rejoices. So my focus is on one soul. Atinikimba wimbo, moja ya gospel. For what is gospel? The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Wale ambao wanafanya uzuri, waendelea kufanya vizuri. Wa unendelea kufanya mabaya, endelea kufanya mabaya. Lakini ukijuaga yesu, anakuja karibuni. Jesus is coming very soon. Yes. So if you want to do circular, continue doing circular. You want to do gospel, continue doing gospel. You want to steal, continue stealing. Continue to do whatever you think is the truth. But remember, you're the first candidate. For what gains a person? What gains a man? To gain the whole world and you lose your soul. Jesus is the only way. About gospel music, about everything, everything will pass away. But the word of God will forever remain. Amen. God bless you. Okay. And I want to take us back to church. So we have Pastor Alan Joroge. So Pastor Alan, because when we're talking about in the context of gospel industry, gospel artists, gospel music, to a lot of people, the common man, they represent the church. So that when they're listening to that music, and as someone who is a representative, representative of the church, if you look at everything that's happening in today's church, and in the context of the kind of representatives you have out there, because when we look at our young people, when they see some of these icons, showcasing their lifestyles you know across media platforms and those lifestyles might not necessarily be in keeping with some of the values that are being taught within the ministry ask someone in the chat what would be your answer or message towards that oh uh, thanks for the question um there are many things to say but i'd like to say two main things when we say gospel artist or gospel musician whatever at noun you add there, the gospel is an adjective, so it's describing what that person should be about, the gospel. And I think Muji brought that out in his comment, it's about the person. And if then we have believed the gospel that Christ, as Mr. T in his sermon said, um, crucified, raised, reigning, if that's what we believe and that is how we live, then the question is actually settled. So then the issue comes, why is, it, why is there a question? It means people are not living like that. So it goes back down to, are people following Christ faithfully? We are Christians before we are musicians. We are Christians before we are pastors. Are we faithfully following Christ? Now, we've talked about mentorship and mentoring these artists. A comment on that. The wonderful word Jesus used for this mentorship business is called discipleship. Jesus had disciples, people who followed him and tried to be like him. He poured himself into them. Likewise, we should be doing the same. On his way to heaven, Jesus said, go and make disciples. Don't make gospel artists or fans mm -hmm. or guys. Make disciples. Make people like Jesus. So that is our number one business. If we don't disciple 
our young people, if we don't disciple, not just the musicians, the musicians need discipleship, and discipleship happens in the context of a church, not out there in a coffee shop. It happens in the context of a church. They have to be rooted somewhere. They have to be rooted in a church. Yeah. Okay, so 